Hi there, Taurus. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot, and welcome to your December love reading for 2020. This reading is on how you feel, how your significant other or your person that you're thinking about feels, and then the combined energy of you both. So it's three spreads. And because this is two energies, guys, if it resonates more on one side, you absolutely can flip it, okay? This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. It's just not, it's just not possible. But I want you to utilize your own intuition here. Take what resonates, leave the rest, do not force anything, and like I said, go ahead and feel free to switch it if that's what you feel guided to do, all right? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining us, Taurus, new Taurus, <laughs> new Taurus subscribers. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates as I upload quite frequently. Any other information you want is in my description box below. So we're going to start off with some Oracle cards here, the Romance Angels and then Dark Mirror Oracle as well and then the Combined Energy. So let's get started calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages in love. How is Taurus feeling? How is their person that is on their mind feeling? What's going on with both of them? What's going on? Time is fluid, guys, so even though it's December's energy, please keep in mind this may have already happened. Others of you, it's happening now or down the road. Here we go. Let me just pull the dark cards first before I get into the messages. What additional messages do we have? And what's the outcome of this spirit? Overall energy of you both is about working together. Two doors open here, making a choice. <laughs> wow, you know what, I, listen, Taurus, you might be dealing with a fire sign here. I feel like I just did a similar reading, um, <laughs> literally, and it's the same energy that's coming through and I cleared these cards or not, but you could be dealing with um, an Aries. Okay, or they may have Aries in a charter, you know, you may, but I highly recommend you watch it because it's very similar energies. Could be a little bit different here though, but we'll see. But this is about, with a wedding card, the situation involves marriage. This is about commitment. So not necessarily about popping the question, okay? It, but it's about commitment. Now you have <clears throat> calling the storm another three here working together which is reversed i feel with your energy there has to be there is something where somebody is clearing out some old icky stuff okay coming out of the storm front now this is how you feel i feel that this is how you feel about this individual okay now next to it, we have getting, <clears throat> with on your person side, we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bonds deepens, getting to know each other. But we got bride in the cage here. Yeah. This is somebody who's afraid of commitment. <laughs> They're super scared of commitment. They're, everything that they have told themselves of why they would never commit to a person is because they had something done to them that has deterred them from ever being in a relationship. Now, I do feel that you guys have known each other for quite some time, and if not, it's a past life kind of thing, all right? But there's something in this level where there's more than one person involved. You might have similar friends. But this is about getting to know each other in a diff different and deepened level, like a deeper level, okay? There is a choice that needs to be made here. I feel like you're waiting for this person to clear up some things so they can move towards you. But let's see what the tarot cards have to say. All right, spirit. What do we got here on Taurus side on this wedding and 
calling the storm, which is reverse. What's this about? Six of Swords reverse, the Magician. Yeah, you're manifesting a new start, and you're waiting for a message here with the Eight of Wands. On your person side, we have the Knight of Cups. Oh, they want to come towards you. Oh, but they're scared. That chariot's reversed. Oh, I feel like this is a race for time here. Death, transformation. This person is it reverse. It's the, they are they are afraid. They are afraid of this commitment. They are afraid to transform. There's fear here. We have the five of pentacles reversed. The sun card. The wheel reversed. This person is fighting this change. How you feel? They haven't let go of something. They haven't let go of something to go towards those common waters. You know, like they just want to go to calmer waters. They want to let go of the baggage. It's time for them to move on, but it's reversed. So there's something about this that feels like when, when's this going to happen, you know? This person has... They're showing me here with a six, because you see you got the four swords here. This person is in a standstill. They're re rest, rejuvenating about it, okay? You know about this. You're well aware of this, okay? But they're facing two swords. They're looking at those two swords that they're moving forward to. They want to communicate. You're hoping they will communicate. You're hoping they will move forward to you. Yeah. You're manifesting that. Oh, yeah, you are. Oh, Taurus, you are. You've already planted seeds with this individual. Now, you guys might not be together, but this feels strongly like a friendship, but something more, or moving from casual now to committed. But you're looking for commitment. Fast communication. This person could be at a distance from you. It doesn't have to be a long distance, anything. Like, you know, I mean, this person could still be 10 minutes away from your house and still be at a distance from you. And they're not in the same house, put it that way. All right? You might you might communicate with each other, like, back and forth. It's easy. It's authentic. This person's about equal give and take. But there's fast messages here going back and forth, back and forth. It could be very surface conversation, Taurus. Hello, how you doing? Just seeing how you're doing. Oh, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Like, it's equal, right? But very surface. But there's more there. There's more. Knight of Cups. Water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is someone's cup who's full. Someone who wants to open their heart and come. But they're sludging through water. They're, they're, this person has a lot of emotions for you. A little bit slow, but it's because they are letting go of something and it's that fear. They're transforming. Look, this is like death here, okay? It's transforming, but they feel a little bit... And I feel it's there's some time here that has been passed because getting to know each other is like you already done that. Now it's time for the next stage for something more, right? To be able to express yourself. Like I said, you could just be friends. Now, the chariot, which is always the movement coming from a distance kind of card, is reversed. This is the challenge that this individual has. It's slowly, slowly letting go of their fears. Their fear of commitment. Of letting go and shedding something that no longer serves them. This doesn't necessarily mean a person, guys. This could be old beliefs. Like I said, it could be an old relationship. But death is here. Mm -hmm. Now, they're fighting the change because it's reversed. The Scorpio energy. But I feel like this, I mean, you got two really strong cards here of death that they're facing, Taurus. I feel like this love blossomed with this with this rose that's on the sword you have opened up this person's heart you have shown them a different perception of what it is to be an equal give and take partner they feel secure with you they feel safe and they have they have a lot of fun with you but it's more about communicating and opening up their heart to you now as to how they feel 
this reading is how they feel. Now on that making a choice, we have the Five of Pentacles reverse. This is a loss. This is a complete loss. This is your general overall energy together. I feel like this person knows that if they don't act now, they're making a choice because no action is still making a choice and they may lose you or this opportunity forever. They're, they, they, they have a big fear with that. It's like the, this is a double whammy fear of Taurus. They may lose the opportunity with you to go through that door. Now your energy is, is that you feel like there's this potential out there, but you don't want it a lost opportunity either. So you feel it as well. But you both are freaking happy when you're with each other. You both want to say yes to commitment. You both do. But this wheel is reversed. It's stopped. The cycle has not passed yet. Now it's close here with this 10 energy. It's close. <clears throat> I'm going to use the validation cards with the vice versa deck. I do not do reversals, Taurus, on the vice versa because it's double-sided cards. All right, let's see what's on the Six of Swords, the Magician, and this Eight of Wands. What's this about? The Six of Swords, Magician, and Eight of Wands spirit. Yeah, soulmate energy, Six of Cups here. <laughs> the Tower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right on top of the magician. Are you kidding me? And we have the six of swords again. Wow. How much validation do you need on your side that you want them to move away? On their side, as they see you, the four of wands here. So much soulmate energy. This could be your twin flame, guys. We have the king of, Pe I'm sorry, not the king of pentacles. The king of wands here. That's about wanting to take action. Could be dealing with a fire sign here, like I said. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We have the two of pentacles. Oh man, this person is fighting this. They're fighting it. They're fighting this transformation. There's the king of, I knew the king of pentacles was coming out because I, I said that earlier and I'm like, I feel like the king of pentacles, which is your energy to gonna come out here with these two kings. Yeah. Yeah, we have, <laughs> we have the high priestess here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, and we have the hermit energy here. All right. You, so how you feel, this person, you've known them. They're your friend, they're your best friend. This is somebody that you just have a lot, a really good time with. Um, like I said, you have known each other for quite some time with the Six of Cups, a lot of emotion here. It could have been childhood friends, could have just been friends for quite some time and it's like turned into this. But you want them to move towards you because of this, this love. But I also think that you know that this person's been through stuff. And here's the thing. You're manifesting because you're a, I mean, you're the magician here. You got it down, right? You know how to use all those tools, right? You're asking the universe, all right, this is what I want. This is what I'm doing. But you're not putting an expectation on of when or how or, um, you know, you're just like, and so it be. And so it is, you know, so it is, Taurus. You're like, yeah, and I'm gonna let it go now. I, I put in my wish and the universe is gonna get me that or something better, because I got all the power. And the universe goes, make it so, make it so. You are the magician. They're creating a tower. The universe is coming in and creating a tower moment. You are aware that this person is gonna come on, like come to you very unexpected. You're not gonna know when this person comes in. Oh, listen to me, I'm telling you right now, I know you're watching me right now, Taurus going, that's not what I wanna hear. 
I wanted to know how they feel and when they're coming. Like, when is it? When, when, when? No, the magician doesn't ask when. They just know. They trust. They trust the, the universe will do whatever it has to do to pow. Take something that's faulty and make it a strong foundation. It's going to be unexpected. You probably are not even going to know when this comes in. I mean, this could come in super quick or when you just least expect it, okay? But I may say and make it so. I mean, by saying, you know, let it be, so it is. You're telling the universe, make it so. <laughs> and you believe it. Those messages, again, about moving away. Now notice... You start off here with the Six of Swords. All about balance, too, with these sixes, okay? Communication, talking. You may be fearful that this person is moving away from the idea or they won't make a choice, meaning they won't choose to open up ever, okay? Could be fears, just to let you know. You're kind of like, are they going to do this? You're, you're kind of afraid the messages are going to just constantly be surfaced. It's like, is this just what it's going to be? We're just going to be surface friends? Or is there really something more here? You don't want to drive yourself nuts with it, but it's like, I don't want to wait either. What's this going, you know, like it's that kind of, kind of like monkey confusion, right? But you know, deep in your heart that you just know that they're going to move away from this, that they will come. They will come. You just know. And I know you just know because there's the high priestess energy here in the overall energy of you both now let's see how the broad in the cage the person <laughs> person who's afraid of commitment commitment what's up with them oh they think the world of you this person wants to marry you this person wants to have commitment with you this person wants to have children with you even maybe for kids this person has joy with you this person wants to dance with you this person wants to take care of you this person loves you. You are their world and it's equal and it's like you feel the same way about them. There's so much happiness here. It's so bright. And I feel like this day and night is how you two are with each other. It's balanced. Taurus, it's balanced. You might be a little bit more lighthearted and this person might be a little bit more moody or, you know, like there's like an opposite, but you work with, well with each other, okay? They have a lot of emotion for you. They do. Don't let them fool you. They do. Are you scared? With that chariot energy and the <clears throat> king of wands. <sighs> king of wands is passionate. Good looking. I'm not going to lie. There's something sexy about the, <laughs> about the king of wands, you know? But they take action and they're passionate and they're creative and they move forward, Taurus. This person is fighting two energies because they have a lot of passion for you. But then they think about the past or they think about something that, you know, whatever is bringing up that fear. And then they get kind of stuck in their head. And it's this ongoing battle of back and forth, back and forth. What choice do I make? What choice do I make? Oh yeah, they're fighting it. They're fighting it with the two of pentacles here. Your energy, earth energy. They know they can't put their back to the ship that needs to move, that needs to go towards you. They know. They can juggle all they want, but that, <laughs> look what's above their head. Look what they're creating with this juggling of going back and forth. What's over, his, what's over the magician's head? Look at this. They're doing the same thing. <laughs> All these thoughts of you, they're manifesting it too. They're just jumbling it up because they're, they're so afraid to let go of the fear, the transformation that they're fighting. <laughs> it's like, what? What are you doing? Oh no. King of Pentacles here on the five of Pentacles. They want me to make clear is that he's holding this pentacle, bringing it towards the five of pentacles, okay? Now, this is your energy here. This is someone who's practical and tangible, knows how to bring things to life physically in the physical environment, okay? Very fatherly, protective, loving, sincere. 
really good with finances. Now this could be, this is both of your guys' energy. So to me, for you, it's like you would love to be able to make this balanced and be like, okay, let's make this a six of, six of pentacles, which is all about working together, a balance, right? Now your person is like, I don't want to lose this opportunity. <laughs> you know, like I really don't want to lose this opportunity with this individual. But if I don't, if I don't set something right and offer them my coin, it won't be tangible. Hot priestess with the sun energy, Taurus. She's the keeper of secrets, very intuitive, knows that this is a divine relationship. You both do. You both feel it. You both feel it. You just know. You both know that this is divine. Again, opposites with these colors I told you and I said dark and night. Like, I just feel like you guys are that yin and yang. Yeah. The wheel reversed about feeling stuck. The energy that you're in here right now, Taurus, both of you, is that you are looking into a situation here with this energy of Virgo of being enlightened, of looking at something that brings you happiness and joy, look really, really investigating your wishes, okay? You're, you're totally investigating it at this point, both of you. But I'm curious, and I'm going to do this, and I... I typically don't over-validate, but I want to know what this, what, what's going to happen with both of you on this energy. So let me see. Let me, where did I just do with those cards? I just had them. Oh, they're over here. Let's, um, let's do it on your energy first, Taurus. Spirit, can you let us know when Taurus gets out of this hermit energy? What's their feelings on this? What's their actions on this? It's Taurus's actions. Mm. And what's their person's actions when they get enlightened on this? <laughs> you're not gonna know what it's coming, Taurus. I'm sorry, you're not. In fact, you might think it's a completely lost at this point. When you're being enlightened and like doing your own thing, you, the spirit's warning you here, all right? Like, <laughs> don't get too hung up on this never happening or there's it's going to be empty, okay? They really want you to focus on yourself here. But the two of cups are right next to you. Like, right next to you. You're not even looking at it, all right? Now, your person, what they're doing while they're going in this Virgo mode, right? The standstill. They're trying to f figure out a way to balance a situation. Like I said, some of them might be at a distance from you. It doesn't have to be far, but they know they're looking down at it and now they're trying to figure out actions of when it's coming through. I don't know a time period on this, but even with the colors and stuff, it could be a while. I mean, this could, I mean, I'm thinking fall or something, but this person is working on themselves, okay? Letting something go but you are heavily on their mind. They know they need to balance the situation out. They know they don't want to lose you. They're just letting go of the fear of commitment. It's huge on them. This person is a sincere person. I do feel strongly on there. They're definitely viewing it on the level of like, I don't want to create this person on being sadness. I just feel like you're going to have no clue when this comes. In fact, you might think entirely that there's no fat chance that this person will ever open up. And I do feel at one point you might have, you know, stated something to them, but I don't feel like, I don't know, this feels very similar to the Aries reading where I did, where two people were like kind of wearing, not a false mask, but one person was just in receiving mode and, and like living life, but waiting for this person to get over their baggage, basically clearing it out so they, they can get this fear of commitment out of them. But there's a balance here. There is. They want to work together with you. They know that this is not working without them coming up and bringing the actions in the table. But they have to face the fear of commitment because you do not have those fears and they are well aware of it. They know you deserve the best. They do, Taurus. All right, guys, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and share because... Guys, it all helps, not just me, but it gets the messages across to people who may not see it because, you know, the algorithm is all weird in YouTube and so forth. But thank you, and I appreciate it, and I will see you next time, Taurus. Take care.